my dear brothers and sisters the second point that we need to remember to come out of these addictions bad habits of watching unholy videos the sec first one is to accept and accept that we have this problem and the second one is to repent about your past sin repent and renounce and reject it every sin we enjoy because there is a pleasure attached to the sin if there is no pleasure attached to sin we will never enjoy any sin we have a tendency to fall into the same sin again and again because there is a pleasure attached to the sin if there is no pleasure in doing sin no one will commit sin therefore it is not enough that you reject and renounce the sin but you should reject the pleasure that is also attached to the sin i have seen people rejecting the sin but keeping the pleasure inside one person who was addicted to many sins and uh, drinking and uh, committing terrible sins of unholiness adultery and many other things and he came and attended a retreat and he changed his life and he started a new life new beginning and after that he never went back to the past sins to best of my knowledge and um, he was always in prayer always sharing the word of god and speaking to the people convincing the people to change their life but one day i happened to see him shouting at another person saying you don't know who i was you don't know how many people i threatened you don't know how many people have smashed and made them fall down you don't know how many adulteries have committed so he was taking pleasure in the past pleasures of his sin it is true that he stopped the sin but the pleasure is still there he is enjoying it reliving it do you have a tendency to relive past sin though you are not committing the sin that means you have not rejected and renounced the pleasure which is attached to the sin you may have rejected the sin maybe because no convenience it is not possible to commit sin again maybe because you feel guilty maybe because you are afraid of the punishment and only because of that rejected the sin but the pleasure you are living reliving it and enjoying it so that is why in such situations in such people they will fall into sin any time the same sin they will fall into fall into again any time it's only a matter of time so it is not enough that we reject the sin we also should reject the pleasure which is attached to the sin so how do we do that we should feel bad about those enjoyments that we did because those are enjoyments of stealing so there is a allowed pleasure and unallowed pressure pleasure certain pleasures are not allowed for us which we should feel bad about it for example you know there are certain things which you which uh, which are permitted in your home i remember when i was small um, we were not allowed to touch certain things in the kitchen especially sweets and some bakery items and but we used to um, steal it secretly come when mom, mom is not there around in the kitchen we used to come and take it and eat it so there is a pleasure in eating such kinds of things and in a secret way st stolen pleasure and uh, the same biscuits are kept there not for my mom to eat alone but it is for us to eat but still there is some special pleasure when we steal and eat so this is how many a time people you know we have a pleasure there are lots of good pleasure which permitted which god has given us but we don't we are not happy with that we are happy with the stolen pleasures these stolen pleasures will lead you to guilt feeling restlessness and fear of being caught so i remember when we steal these uh, biscuits and other things but when mom comes and looks at the ba basket the the place she can easily find that something some missing so we are really afraid it's only a matter of time we are going to be caught but until we are caught we will be so restless and afraid and we know that there is a punishment for it so my dear brothers and sisters stolen pleasure will never give you peace 
stolen pleasure will always give you restlessness and fear of being caught and therefore reject this pleasure feel bad about this pleasure now i feel bad why oh, should not have hurt my i remember there are many things which my mother mother used to get angry suppose even when she take the coconut and uh, remove the coconut from the main uh, the, the coconut and we used to come and take it and run it uh, take it and run away from uh, and my mother used to chase us and because she is working hard and preparing the food and we are stealing from it sometimes we are just um, you know uh, cheating of our mother when mother looks that side we take from this side so this is how we do but now i feel bad because she was working hard and she was preparing all this food and everything for us not for neighbors so those pleasures we enjoyed those years but now i feel so bad about it i reject that pleasure so do you feel bad about all the stolen pleasures that means you are rejecting it or are you secretly enjoying it that means you are feeding it so every stolen pleasures we have to feel so bad about it and it is possible for us to no why did i feel bad because i loved my mother when when i came to know how much my mother work hard for to feed us and how could we steal the same food which we are supposed to be given up and in a better way in front of us and we didn't know that we thought it's stealing is easier and there is more pleasure the same way the more you love jesus you will feel bad about the stolen pleasures many people don't feel aversion towards the stolen pleasures because they don't love jesus if i don't love my mother if i hate my mother i will feel today i'm so happy that i stole those food i'm ho- i i could have stolen more and hurt him more hurt her more see this that will that will be my feeling but now i feel so aversion towards those pleasures which i enjoyed in my childhood because now i understand the pain my mother had gone through to prepare those food and all those things my dear brothers and sisters do you have this aversion feeling towards the pleasures which you enjoyed secretly without permission then that means you love jesus you understand that all the pleasures which jesus is preparing for you it is for you we don't need to steal secretly we don't need to enjoy it secretly it is dangerous for us because knowingly or unknowingly it is making us slave therefore let's beg for forgiveness from the lord and say lord i'm sorry i reject and renounce not only the sin but also the pleasures attached to the sin every sin take every sin every sin has got a pleasure attached to the sin otherwise we will never do this